is As The Tea Brews and I'm Stacy. I recently filmed a unboxing and review of some tea and gold matchas and I had some requests to try this as a matcha latte. So I wanted to go ahead and do that today and I think the one out of all of them that will be best as a latte is the chai matcha. So I'm using a plain soy milk which I thought would be unsweetened but there's actually some sugar in it. Um, since there is stevia in these matchas already, they are quite sweet to begin with. I think an unsweetened milk would be delicious with this matcha, but if you like your matcha really sweet, then go ahead and use any sweetened milk of your choice. I actually tried this one as a latte. I don't know if it's going to froth as well as the sweetened vanilla version of it does. This is a Simple Truth Organic Plain Soy Milk, and I'm going to use my Breville Milk Cafe, and then we are going to, I think I'm going to use two scoops of the matcha to about six to eight ounces, maybe eight ounces of the soy milk. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to use about eight ounces. If I do eight ounces, it doesn't quite fit in my mug if it froths up a lot. So I'm gonna go just under eight ounces. And then I have my Tiangle Chai Matcha. And so yesterday, when I posted this uh, the review video. Oh, this does smell really good like chai. I didn't think it had much of a smell yesterday, but it does. Um, I, okay, I'm supposed to start the milk first. Whoops. All right, let's get this going. And so then I've already added one scoop. I don't know if I'm going to need two scoops or not. I'm going to go ahead and add like another half scoop and see how that goes. So these matchas are really nice. They are from Japan and they're all natural and they don't have any extra sugar in them besides the stevia, but the ingredients are Japanese matcha, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and then stevia. So like I said, they are quite sweet and they were very good on their own with water, which I don't typically drink my matcha just with water, but these were all very good that way. So it looks like it might be frothing up pretty well. I'm excited to try this. And of course you can use any milk that you normally use. I just tend to like the Simple Truth organic milk because at least the vanilla version and it looks like the plain version froths up really nice and froth is like so delicious. I don't know that froth even has a taste. It's more of a texture thing and visual thing. I just really love getting like a nice layer of froth on my matcha lattes. Okay, so I've got a mug and these mugs that I tend to use for my matcha lattes are from Ikea and they're just these nice big clear glass mugs. Look at all that beautiful foam. I don't know why foam is so fun. Comment below if you like your matcha lattes or lattes with lots of foam or if you could do without the foam. Okay, yummy. Okay, this is excellent as a latte and this is delicious and so I highly recommend making these as lattes. I have a coupon code for you guys and I will link that down below as well as the package that you can get with the tea angle shaker bottle and the tea angle matchas. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to leave me a comment and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. We will see you next time. Bye!